Look, we need points in it, all right? I don't <laughs> no, mean, no, I you I don't you mean this do. maliciously. But the word <laughs> 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 A story. Go a story. Lord, I'm sorry. This life of sin, my life of sin. This life's not for me. Assalamu alaikum guys, hope you guys are well inshallah. Zishan from Smiles of Jannah done an amazing video touching on this topic. The reason I'm doing this video is usually when I see a cold brother like Marshall on the YouTube scene touching on a topic, I don't find the need to. Alhamdulillah, he's covered it. If it comes from an angle that I haven't come from, Alhamdulillah. But this thing was actually very close to my heart. Many of you guys might not know, but I was called the word Paki. Yes, I used to live in London. I used to get into fights and all this kind of stuff. My dad took me outside London. I used to live in a place in North East Lincolnshire. And I was, me and my friends were subject to racism day in, day out. We used to get into fights every single, literally nearly every single day, yeah? Be it like Jahali, we used to go clubbing, etc. Somebody coming and calling the worst Paki when we're walking. Even my black friends were called Paki. Like the guy was so bloody, he was like, you know, if you're gonna call me, call me the N-word at least. I mean, bloody, you, you, yeah, they, both of them are wrong. But we would, I would get, and I'm Turkish, I'm Kurdish, I'm not even, you know, like, it's irrelevant. The point is not that, and they, oh, just because you're Pakistan, they could call you that. No, I used to be called these things. Well, like, I cannot tell you the amount of times I got into fights, I got jumped, all because of this. And so much so that I was even in the local tele the, the newspaper because we had a big fight against these race thugs. All the brothers from different ethnicities that we, 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 where we used to live, we came together and had an outright brawl, like literally fight of like 30, 40 of us against 50, 60 of them. Alhamdulillah, yeah? They got sparked, uh, just to be, and, and I'm not even uh, boasting. If you ring, read the Telegraph, okay, uh, it's, uh, it's Grims, Grimsby Telegraph, okay, I actually tried to get in contact with them to find the article, yeah? Yeah, uh, they kind of got bounced, alhamdulillah. And from that day onwards, they did not even come near us. They put some respect, alhamdulillah. After that day, once we showed them, you know, they say that once you show your teeth, once we show them, you know, alhamdulillah, we, all of us came together. Um, the Africans, the Jamaicans, Lebanese, Turkish, Kurdish, Pakistani, Bengali, we all came together. So much so we was on the uh, local newspaper, uh, subhanAllah. And even then the local newspaper made it seem as if we were attacking a group of white men for no reason. They were racist individuals, subhanAllah. So I know this and not only that, when I used to live in the same place, I was younger, they smashed my house. They broke all the, sh the, the, the wooden shed thing in the front, yeah, the gates, they smashed that. They came and smashed my windows. Me and my mom, my brother, was, was small. I can remember that. That was like a trauma. I can remember they're trying to get into the house to attack us. Literally, and we're hold, I was holding the door. I remember these things, subhanAllah. And for someone like KSI to trivialize it, it's like me saying the N-word, yeah? And trivializing what they went through. Well, lie, this is so sad. You don't know, like Zishan said, many of the people, they used to tell me stories of what they used to go through. We, we had so many people go through racism, yeah? Racism, because of their background. So it is disgusting, and I don't know if he's done a public apology, but wallahi, I myself, as a Kurdish man from Turkey, I was subject to this harassment, this bullying, being attacked for years on end. And I know how it feels, that when you walk with your family, you don't feel safe, who's gonna say what? It's disgusting. It is disgusting, brothers and sisters, wallahi. That's all I wanted to say, brothers and sisters, inshallah, may Allah protect us and may Allah deal with racism, which is directly connected to Iblis, yes? Of thinking you are better than someone else just because of their race, their color, or whatever it may be, inshallah. And alhamdulillah, Islam has come to abolish racism, brothers and sisters. May Allah bless you guys. Have an amazing Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.